What is up, anime fans, and welcome back to another Demon Slayer review for season two. Man, and it's been heating up, but let's just, before we get into the review, uh, I wouldn't y'all wouldn't mind liking, commenting, comedy team oh my god i got so much low energy right now i'm fucking up the whole intro <laughs> uh but anyway man y'all know what the deal is like comment share subscribe all that stuff man uh let me introduce myself is mufasa i'm mufasa in the cage man and with me is my co-host atc atc say what's up shout to yourself with all that hey what's good y'all you can catch me on youtube at atc tv and on ig at atc underscore nkz you dig yeah yeah and if y'all wouldn't mind staying as long as y'all can man brother trying to get monetized in this thing man you know we be saying a lot of things man we say a lot of things <laughs> in these reviews you know it's black history we must support your black content creators <laughs> uh brother trying to move up we trying to move up man but and this episode though was fucking crazy man it was it, it seemed so fast too it was it was nothing but action we, we got some like some some little parts here and there that that was just like sensitive and uh uh showed more of the character and stuff but uh let's start from the beginning because boy oh boy it, it picks up after right after the last episode where everything just went to shit you know you got Zenith uh, pushing Tendra off the roof and saving him from uh the whole catastrophic just collateral damage everywhere man so this is uh, uh, man this is like probably what like i know i said the other episode was like one of the best ones but this episode right here was just like probably like top tier like this is like probably the second i i, I we ain't seen the last episode yet but this is probably like one of the best episodes really so far this is like god damn man <laughs> but anyway let's uh, let's uh, talk about the beginning the beginning of the episode it starts off with tandro uh uh, uh, like having like this, like not even a flashback. He having like this talk with Nezuko and stuff. You know, it's it's wild. And as he having like talk passed with Nezuko, out. yeah, while he's passed out, and like he's just like, oh man, if if uh if uh I was there to help Tegan, he wouldn't have been on the ground. He would have been got fucked up. If uh I was if I would have seen Gutaro sneak up behind Inosuke, I would have been there to like protect him if uh, and, and and he feels sorry for like being this weak or like not seeing the things that's going to happen and nezuko basically is just like stop feeling stop feeling sorry for yourself tendro like you you can't control everything you know you can't you ain't got, like some things are just out of our control we can't control that but you know all all we can do is just keep moving forward and getting stronger together you know you should know how i feel about that you know so how, how did you feel about that talk? Because I feel like that it, that was like a real important point in the uh, episode. Yeah, it's like she was giving him a, a real talk to talk, you know, with like a like a spirit connection kind of. Yeah, so. and, and character development, character development mm -hmm. too, right here for sure. So it was just like, yeah, Tandro, Tandro is just like a person he always just feels sorry, like oh every mistake uh he, he just like oh i could have did it better he always like doesn't regret. seem like he, he yeah. does his bet exactly he has a whole bunch of regret and it's just like you gotta understand like he's been a demon slayer for like what three three four years now like it's been some time yeah. you know, and, and he's still getting adjusted to all this all this shit and it's like like you feel me but uh it, it goes it goes back into like uh the present and you see it's this whole animation, bro. This whole animation—it was nothing but fire. But I was like, the fire looked realistic as hell. Like they really did some good work with this. Yeah, it looked CGI. I was like, yo, it gave just... me like movie vibes. Yeah, man. They're yeah. They they whole animation just looks like a fucking movie every time. Uh, so <laughs> so you see Tandro. He's like looking at the whole damage that every this whole town just got caused. Look, the whole battlefield is just fucked up. So then you see Yutaro, he walks up and he start like just straight disrespecting Tanjiro, bro. He like, oh my <laughs> god, you just hella weak. You're a disgrace, bro. And he just like, they got weak what? sauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, why I start messing with me? I was like, yo, he said weak sauce. Hold on. <laughs> How you know about that? 
anyway, but like he he talks about like he just straight shitty on him like bro you're like he's like bro uh that demon right there that's your that's your little sister or your big sister he like that's that's my little sister dog he like oh you hella weak then how the hell your little sister <laughs> better than you in fighting <laughs> you feel me and you heard. <laughs> exactly man like yo your little your little sister got some heart i ain't gonna lie she was talking shit but you know why it's because she a demon she a demon bro and you feel me he he straight up did some dirty shit, bro. He he grabbed his hand and then like he broke like two of his fingers. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, when he cracked that man's bro. fingers, I like flinched when that nigga cracked the fingers, bro. It's just like the sound and shit, like Ugh. yeah. <laughs> I was like, like yeah, nigga, <laughs> want me to do something? Hey, hey, I don't know if you remember the movie Major Pain. <laughs> he was like, you want me to do yeah. something? Take that mind off that pain. <laughs> You'll feel a little <laughs> pressure and then you crack this shit. That's how I thought. <laughs> I thought of that part when he did that shit. <laughs> so he did that shit, you feel me? And and he's and guitaros was breaking it down like, bro, look, I done put your niggas in pack. I done put the Hashira in the pack. I done put your boy in them. I done put your boy in Nosuke on the t-shirt. Your boy Zenitsu, he over there just squirming. You feel me? He he's slowly dying. You feel me? Ain't no coming back. But you feel me? Bro? This shit was kind of funny. Man, you just seeing Zenitsu just squirming, trying to get Boy. out. I'm like, bro, pit. I'm like, oh my god, bro. This shit is so fucked up. It's dirty, niggas. This is like getting smoked and fucked up in this episode, bro. So it's just like it's all or nothing this episode, and. He, he he just going all off about like yeah bro I put all your niggas in packs and woo, woo, this and that so and he and and he just like bro like if you if you think you still like hang with me you feel me like come on uh, just try to cut my head off cut my head off he kept pressuring him you feel me but then he was like you know what I do your favor too I'll turn you into a demon bro come on come come to Death Row Records bro I'm gonna turn you into a demon I'm gonna get you right bro Muzum gonna get you right. And you see, like, I like he he was talking about all that, and he ran off. Like, Tandro just picked up Nesco and ran off somewhere. <laughs> it did as he's running running off. He, this boy Guitaro just straight up kicks this man through a whole firehouse and all that shit, man. He was just fucking with him, bro. He's playing with this man's life <laughs> at this whole point, bro. And he just talking about like I ain't never seen a man so disgraceful, bro. This shit is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is fun, bro. We I, like man. He really wanted to him. He wanted to be his friend and shit, <laughs> and like turn him into a demon. But um, you feel me? Like as he's like doing all this monologuing and like playing with him, Tandro. He didn't know Tandro had a plan. He Tandro has a plan, and just straights up like. As soon as he get close enough, this boy uses his head and headbutts him in the fucking head, mm -hmm. and, and he was like, "You know what? What the hell was that, man?" Like, and, and then it took a couple seconds later, he like, "Oh shit, hold on, his head, that head button, man. We're like, hold on, bro, no chill, chill, <laughs> like, no, oh no, bro." <laughs> but he he ends up stabbing him too at the same time with the, with a poison kunai. So that slowed him down, and he's just like, oh, hell no. Nah. And you see this boy come with the katana, and he's like, mm -hmm. comes down with the Hinokami straight from the heavens, about to cut this man head off. I was like, yes, get him, bro. He talking mad shit. So how, how was you feeling about all that, like the sneak attack? Man got uh, uh what is it called uh, statistics and he breaks down and analyzes things in like a fucking few seconds because I ain't even know that was gonna happen. I'm thinking like, like shit, he done ran out of ideas. He looking up, but I'm knowing something coming. But he hit but the shit out there, man. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, but with the force, <laughs> yeah, man. So shit, he, like the whole time this boy Tandro on. On his knees, you thinking this man needs a fucking prayer <laughs> from the anime gods, man. Like something to happen. But you know, he came up with that little shit. I'm like, bro, he always got some once slick he, shit up his up his sleeve. Once he start that breathing too, uh, you know something to happen when he start that mm -hmm. little breathing shit. Mm -hmm. That recovery shit is yeah, coming. That nigga inhaling, nigga. That nigga, <sighs> man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so man, uh, he does that. 
and like it goes i remember like it's this one little scene where he's about to cut as soon as he's about to cut uh guitar's head off you hear docking in the background like say brother and at that <laughs> point a moment at that point of my, I'm like, Tendro, you better not bitch up. Don't you bitch up right now. This is not the time. <laughs> you better cut this nigga head off, bro. And it, it does like this little scene. And he was just like, you know what? This could have been my life right here. You feel me? I could have been a demon. But you feel me? I was lucky to be human. But then it could have been me. And Nezuko could have been demons doing the same shit. But then somebody from the Demon Slayer Corpse could have came through and beheaded me, and that would have been a favor. You feel me? So I was I, happy I thought, about it. Yeah, exactly. So I thought that was like I was in character development, but that played like a little important part too. Like he's seeing it from both sides. Like you know, it, this could have been my life. I could have been the one that's just killing killing humans and just to survive and certain moves on and and being part of this demon order shit and just live forever you feel me but uh mm -hmm. man my boy my boy stay human like dying light you feel me <laughs> boy stay human uh anyway so then as, as he's about to do that Doki's about to jump in and interfere and boy my boy all you see is a thunderclap nigga my boys and this who come the out the and ground <laughs> He like nigga round two, bitch. No, this ain't even round two. This is like round four. <laughs> he like, bitch, you thought I was done. He he come back like me and Mill. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. <laughs> you feel me? He come out of nowhere. He like, man, he does the first form. He's a godlike man and just yeah. claps this bitch. He just zoom and he just all docky shit. And he's and you see he's slowly starting to cut her cut her head off bro he just on her shit like you ain't going nowhere i'm gonna cut this shit even though he bleed he pushing through so much pain his his legs is fucked up he's pushing through so much pain he like nigga i'm about to get this body if i if it's my last thing i do i'm gonna get this body <laughs> you're gonna give me no that head, better bitch. opportunity man so it was that and then it goes back to tanjiro and you see tanjiro uh, uh, it's like he's trying his hardest to cut cut Guitar's head, but he ain't quite getting it. He ain't quite getting it. So then Guitar does like the little sickle sails and it like repels him away. But then he starts he starts fighting Guitaro and he's like kind of handling them because he's a little weak from the poison. The poison still it has an effect, but he, you feel me? He he's like kind of holding himself off, and as he's holding himself off. You see another comeback, my boy Tegan come back in the picture like, hold on, wait a minute, y'all thought I was finished? Hell no, nah, bro, my boy came back, ready to clap this man, he like, bro, I got one hand. Nigga, I still, I still run these hands, I don't care. This my strong hand anyway. <laughs> but you, you feel me? And he, and he was doing like some muscle uh, technique, he was doing like some muscle breathing technique or some shit. And I, I was like, see, I knew he was doing something. Like, I knew Tegan was going to come back, bro. So, like, how, how did you feel when, when these two came back, bro? Uh, just 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 off the rip, uh, how you were saying, like, with the muscle, this nigga forced his heart to stop to make it mm -hmm. seem like he was dead. That's straight Shinobi to, like, tactics. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like... Yeah, you know, I knew he went dead, but shit, he was over there looking crippled for a minute. Man, shit. he was quiet. <laughs> exactly. I was like, bro, he looked like he was about to get put on a t-shirt. He like, I ain't ready for that yet. <laughs> and you feel me? And you feel me, boy? He came back. He like, nigga, I'm ready for round three, nigga. You, you, you I'm gonna get this dub. I told you, I'm about to win. We're going to win, bro. We gonna get this dub, nigga. And then you feel me? It goes with like he does some like wild, shit, like not so wild shit, but like you see, like 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 I think it was like different techniques. I'm not sure because he start like repeating them, and he just started swinging the sword. And yeah, he, yeah, he started doing that. I thought that was cool. I was like, ooh. And then you feel me? He started fucking just being on uh, uh, guitar all shit, bro. He was just like, man, I'm on him, bro. And this boy guitar can't believe it. He like, bro, this nigga got one fucking arm. How the fuck is he not dead, bro? How the fuck did he not die? Like, he, he just so uh, in the most flashiest way. Exactly. <laughs> he comes back in the most flashiest way and just start dogging this shit with one arm, bro. And still swinging, still fighting, ready for the fight. So 
he doing all that shit. It's a clean ass fight. This fighting animation is so fucking dope as they all fighting. And uh, I'm just like, man, uh, this boy Tendro following them. He like, man, I'm on them too. You feel me? So it's like tag team do that shit. And they gotta, they gotta fucking coordinate their attacks while Tegan's attacking, while Tegan is attacking Utaro. He Tendril standing in the back doing his thing. He just like, oh, I gotta wait for the perfect opportunity. And then as soon as Tendril sees the opportunity, he kind of jumps in. But then this boy Utaro, I was like, this part's sick. He fucking throws up a sick. He he throws the sickle cell into Tendril's mouth, bro. I'm like, oh damn, this shit getting fucking bloody and real. I was like, he got him with that one. I thought it was kind of over, but Tendro pushed through that pain and still was like, yo, I'm about to get this motherfucker. But I was like, damn, but, but that, that shit right there, I was like, he got him with that sickle. He got him with that sickle though. Uh, so man, my boy got a got a hole in his in the bottom of his mouth now. And uh but he he still got the hand, he still threw his blade, and he was just like, Man, I gotta push through. I still got to get this L and you slowly start seeing his uh, scar turn into like a, a, a flame mm -hmm. Demon Slayer Mark activated Exactly and then you see his hair start changing too so I was like ooh He started and, looking and like that legendary Demon Slayer Yorichi yeah, I think right? Like, yeah he started looking like Pops a little bit I, I think you feel me? So I was like ooh This shit getting real heated and it goes back to Zenitsu. Zenitsu uh, you see him, and he's still on on Doki, and he and he can't quite cut it. He can't quite cut her neck. You feel me? He trying to he trying his hardest, and everything to his last breath to uh to uh, finish her off. But you feel me? He just like uh, I don't think I can get it. He don't think he can get it. But then you feel me? My boy came back like Meek Mill. Hold on, wait a minute, y'all to finish. My boy Nusuke came back, bro. And he just like, bitch, you thought y'all killed me? I adjusted my heart. I'm like, bro, he adjusted his organs, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? How the hell do you even do that? And he said, the poison I has no effect on me either. Because I was raised on a mountain. I was raised in the mountain. So it had no effect. The poison played no part <laughs> bro, in that shroom. shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was eating a whole bunch of that different lit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, and Nosuke, man, he was just like, I'm I'm ready for the fight, man. I'm coming back. So y'all think y'all gonna stop me? Y'all think y'all gonna stop me? <laughs> and you feel me? Uh, Like, it, it, it just goes to everybody screaming. Everybody's fucking screaming at this point at the top of their lungs. People's ignoring their pain. People fighting for their fucking life. Like, they are Kelly out here, up. nigga. <laughs> Never give up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here fighting for my fucking life. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. I think I might name the episode. I think this review might be named that, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So then they finally cut both of their heads off, bro. Like. Everybody did the job. They knocked off both of them at the same time. Both Daki and Guitaro's head roll at the end of the whole battle. Style. <laughs> yeah, it fall together and they look at each other eyes. And then you see you see Tegan's wife in the background. Now now I gotta say this: they some real ones. Tegan's wife is really real. They Thanks. stay they stayed there for the whole fight. They seen all this destructive ass shit. They stayed there Un untouched sure man, anything. Okay. Huh, exactly. No, no, for real. They, they, man, shit, nigga. Not, not to this next part. <laughs> the fucking next part. <laughs> <laughs> that was everything was all good, bro. Everything was all good. You think everybody good? All that. My boy Tendro poisoned though, so he just <sighs> he can't breathe. He's breathing so hard, bro. It's just like he, he has. He's trying to deal with the breathing, with doing more breathing. But the poison is just so strong. He just, man, bro. So he, he he just like, man, I gotta slow down my breathing. I gotta slow down the poison. And then he hear he sees uh, uh, Tegan talking about something. He like, I know he's saying something, but I, I can't quite, I can't quite hear you, bro. Like what you saying? <laughs> and he like, bro, it ain't done yet. Run! And then as soon as he says that, this boy Gutaro body 
just explodes with sickle cells and boom decimates the whole area and the episode mm-hmm. ends on that cliffhanger <laughs> so man how you feel about this episode man <laughs> Oh, well, I do. I gotta add this too. So when he got stabbed in the in the throat with the poison, first thing I thought to myself was, "Where is Shinobu?" Because mm. that's the one that could cure this nigga. You know how she cures Zenitsu in season one. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Where mm-hmm. is she at? Because this this man running out of out of life support. You feel me? But um, mm-hmm. yeah. Overall, whole episode, man. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say ten out of ten. Because I mean, it just you know. Everything put together, all the action, the 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 when he when he fainting talking to his sister, all of that stuff put together in one uh, with the with the fight scenes it themselves. Mm-hmm. That's some of the best mm-hmm. fighting scenes I've seen in anime. You know, oh, man, I ain't gonna man. say a number on, but you know, just in some yeah. anime, that's yeah, top top yeah. top rank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. People, man, bro, it's crazy that like every Sunday. Is Demon Slayer Sunday or you got Attack on Titan Sunday? Like anime mm-hmm. is really showing the fuck up, bro. Like I seen uh Mark Mark from RDC World, he said basically anime and like it's showing up. It's showing like how much anime is the GOAT, because Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan is showing they're they're coming back with 10, 10 out of ten episodes. They're coming out with masterpieces X. every fucking Sunday. So yeah, man, I get this I get this episode of 10 too, man. This episode was fucking dope, bro. The fight scenes, 10 out of 10. Animation, 10 out of 10. And the whole... When the uh, huh? Blood Demon art nuke went off and the way the credits was rolling, I mean, I, I yeah. literally felt like I was watching Entertainment District art like, like moving train, like at the theater. That's how that shit made me feel. I was just like, damn, this is like a whole movie, nigga. I'm invested, yeah. bro. Like, oh. Yeah, bro. Bro. <laughs> Bro, the way they made this, I'm like, this is this is probably so far like is one of the best anime adaptations, uh, to, to to yeah, from manga to anime adaptations, bro. Like, like people people are saying Attack on Titan is like the goat anime of this generation. Like they're just putting it up there. I'm like Demon Slayer ain't too far. It'll probably be like second if, if you put Attack on Titan and then it's Demon Slayer right now, man. Like they they is doing a thing, man. They is not letting up and they they showing out man with with this animation but um and tegan yeah, it feels like a movie. Is that guy tegan is that guy <laughs> he's tegan that is guy, that guy but he's that fucking guy man like i'm just i'm just saying we get now we at the end we got one episode left now man we got one episode Dude. left and and the next episode i think it's supposed to be 45 minutes i i look it mm-hmm. up uh, it's supposed to be 45 minutes so we I, I, I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to spoil it. Like I got spoiled a little bit, but let me just say something is gonna happen between these. I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like one somebody from one side. I don't know. I ain't gonna say which side, but somebody's coming. Somebody's pulling up <laughs> from one of these sides. And man, uh, damn man. So so uh, do I, I ask you this? Do you see any of this getting incorporated into a game or should they just hold on until like a second Demon Slayer game and just just wait? Hey, honestly, uh, honestly, I mean, well, everybody from a standpoint, they might they might want it to be a second game, maybe. But just from an opinion wise, nigga, I got to play that, bro. I got to play that. Nigga, this nigga Tengen was flipping that sword through his fingers, bro. I was like, mm-hmm. what? And then, mm-hmm. and then, if you didn't put him in the game, what version would you give us? Like the the one arm version or the motherfucking, you know, the whole deal? What mm-hmm. we gonna get? But yeah, it could go either way. But but the, I definitely would like it though if it appeared. You know, at least his yeah. character, if nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, man. Cause um, you had that. that you got Tandro. Right. Then you got different uh, Tandro Tandros slow like fucking uh, getting good character development. He's getting upgrades. He's getting power boosters. You know, he just he just damn near went like full savage mode and just flamed up on Utaro. You got so Zenitsu, Zenitsu God speed, Zenitsu God like speed. You feel me? You got Inosuke. Mm-hmm. Like all, all of them, you you see in their training is actually paying off, bro. And they're pushing themselves so much. 
they they is just like man we looking at death's door bro but we ain't giving up we ain't tapping out <laughs> oh man bro um what else can we, I, th I think that's pretty much i mean if you got anything else to say man this shit is a uh, this shit was fire i enjoyed every bit of it y'all should enjoy oh. it too <laughs> man exactly because man we got let one us episode know. Left. is it let us know in the comments for sure let us know in the comments man y'all let us know this <laughs> shit because this shit has one more episode next episode is the last and it's done after that we don't know when the hell we're gonna see this uh demon slayer again because we got more bangers throughout the year i, I know you i know you're ready to see bleach come back and that's that's getting hyped sure. up <laughs> <laughs> and that might have some good fight scenes, animation. And shit. Jujutsu Kaisen movie. Jujutsu Kaisen movies coming out next month. Oh my mm -hmm. god, we got My Hero coming back in October. So we, we got some good animes dropping this year, man. Um, goddamn. Uh, but I, I guess we can wrap this one up, man. So you all know, y'all already know the deal, man. Tell us in the comments and tell us if you're trying to even get on a review. Like, well, we we almost done with this season. So it's like wherever next next anime that that we decide to do shit, uh, you'll be ready for it. Just let us know in the comments. Some DM us on Instagram or something, you know. But uh, yeah, holla at them. <laughs> holla at you boys, man. But uh, you already know the deal. It's Mufasa Cage and it's ATC and we out.